Hi everybody, this is Nikki again, and I'm here to do a quick video that's not medical advice. Um, I was gonna do a quick demonstration on a freestyle Libre change, and the only reason I'm doing it is because uh, somebody in my group the other night, yesterday, mentioned that her daughter had a hard time starting up a new Libre sensor um, with some difficulty, and it could have been that the sensor was bad, but I noticed that all the Libre users reported running into the same thing, and I had also done the same thing which was simply I had forgotten to start up a new sensor. And I think it was when I was swapping one out early. And by early, I mean an hour or two, but as long as you have one running, you have to start the, the, the new one. Um, and if you don't, it will appear as if it's a dead sensor. Anyway, and this is also for Colleen Colgan Pazos. Get your Libre out of the box <laughs> and get it set up. It is like a two-step setup and everything after that is the easiest thing in the world. I know you're not gonna watch this video, but if you do, get it out of the box. It really is easy. Um, <clears throat> okay, so as long as I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the entire insertion. So this is what I have. I've got my alcohol swab. I've got my sensor. I've got my inserter and I use the skin tack. Um, and I use that because the one time I forgot to do the skin tack, my sensor, my Libre fell out within three days. So every time, and I do not do the liquid, I do the, the wipe because it seems to dry better and fewer problems. And there's my Libre box. I don't know why I showed you that. Okay, so I'll do this really quickly and then I'll scan. And I do this, I just put them very close together. Um, I've done everything on this arm so far and basically it's worked out really well. Uh, I have not gone to my right arm yet because I am challenged when it comes to going to my right for injection. So, um, but that's okay. All right. So I open it. I twist that off. And then you just have to kind of line it up until it goes in. Um, then I push it down. Insert and I'll wait just a minute. Okay, so now I have this one. So here's my old one, here's my new one. Um, if, if I scan my old one, it says, you can't see it, but my sensor is ending in five hours. So I hit okay. Now I'm gonna go back out to the main thing, the main screen, sorry. I'm going back out to the main screen. I don't think you guys can see any of that. Uh, it says check glucose or review history. So I'm gonna hit check glucose and I'm gonna scan the new one. And it says new sensor found. Starting a new sensor will end the sensor you're currently using. Would you like to start the new one now? And I'll say yes. Um, and then here's the part right here. This is what I missed. You start new sensor scan sensor to start it. If you just saw start new sensor, you might thought you, you might think you're done, but you're not done, you actually have to scan it. And here it says, new sensor starting up in 12 hours. Sorry for that, it, believe me, sensor can be used in 12 hours. And then I will remove my old one. And I have another alcohol wipe, but you don't have to hang out for all that. And I'll clean everything up and be done. Thank you for watching, have a great day, bye.